Good morning. I'm State Representative Joe Emmerich. Welcome to our fourth annual Senior Fair, which is held here at the Forks Township Community Center. Just wanted to take a minute for those of you who could not attend today and share some of the experience that we have here and some of the vendors and uh, let you see what we provide. My name is Deborah Brown. I'm the Assistant Director at the Easton Area Neighborhood Center located on the south side of Easton. Um, we do social services. We have lots of programs. Uh, the electric program called PCAP. We do the gas program called uh, CAP, UGI. Um, these programs assist people according to their income and their family size and their usage um, to give them a reduction in their monthly payments. We offer rental assistance um, for folks uh, applying for security and maybe they're behind in their rent. You know, we give them a month's assistance. Um, we have a food bank on the south side of Easton um, where families can come and get food once a month for three days worth of food, nine meals. Um, we have a program called the Aspire Program for pregnant and parenting teens in the high school. Uh, not that we advocate teen pregnancy, but we're there to assist so they can stay in school and, you know, graduate. Well, we're promoting our food bank. I mean, the electric, uh, the utility assistant program. Um, basically, all of our programs, not the parent, the pregnant and parenting team program. We also have a roof over program, a shelter program for families with children. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with age as long as you have children or grandchildren. We've, we have had seniors in our program with their grandchildren. So we service lots of seniors um, because now you will find that a lot of seniors are raising their grandchildren. So every month we're getting new uh, participants in our food bank program. We always need volunteers, especially on our food bank days, which are Fridays from 9 to 12, even if just to come in to assist and say, sign in here, you're next. You know, they don't really have to bag anything. Our uh, food bank is choice, where the uh, customers actually come in and they choose off the shelves instead of prepackaged bags. You know, it makes them feel good to choose what they want rather than you give them something that they're not going to use. Um, and we do mailing, so we could always have a volunteer to come in to correlate, you know, papers and just to smile and welcome people in the agency. We're at 610-253-4253. That's the Eastern Area Neighborhood Center, uh, located at 902 Philadelphia Road on the south side of Easton. We're open from 830 to 430. We are Seniors Helping Seniors, and my name is Tammy, and I'm here to represent them today. And our organization is an at-home non-medical care. We provide uh, all different types of services, companionship, transportation, yard work, light cooking, light housekeeping. It's to try to help people stay in their own homes as long as absolutely possible. They are much happier, they're comfortable, and they trust their surroundings there. Sometimes when they're in a different environment, it changes the way they feel. So we try to keep them as absolutely comfortable as we can. And the difference with our agency is it's seniors helping seniors. So it's people that are 50 and over that come to provide the care for you. And the benefit to that is there's usually a lot more in common with someone who's a little over 50 caring for someone who is a senior as well. They, the companionship is usually uh, a little bit better. We look for all different types of skills, but uh, some of the special skills that people can have is, is yard work, maintenance. Those are two things that are like a special skill that people would have. But we utilize all types of personalities. People that are just good with people provide great companionship. So you don't really need to have any type of a skill, you just need to be good to working with people. And obviously you need to like seniors, working with, with the elderly is, is the biggest benefit that you have. We have some people that are as needed in an accident or hurt themselves, so maybe they need us for two or three months, they can't drive for a while. A lot of our, our, our clients are on a long-term care. We see them the same hours every week. They can, and it's whatever you want, three hours a week, three hours a day. It really is up to the person that needs the services. But we will match you up with someone who will provide what you're looking for. Use our 
the phone number, Seniors Helping Seniors. There is a website. Uh, they can go to the Seniors Helping Seniors uh, website as well. Uh, so look forward to hearing from anyone that, that would like some help. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're here with Gina, and uh, Gina provides a very important service in our office. I'd like to just ask Gina a few questions. Uh, Gina, first of all, what organization are you with? I'm with the American Legion. Um, we're based out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and I do claims and benefits for veterans. Okay, and uh, Gina was just sharing with me that um, she herself is a combat veteran, and uh, she provides a very, very important service. Uh, when are you in our office, Gina? I'm in your office the first Monday of the month. I'm there from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. You could call Representative Emmerich's office in Nazareth, and, in Nazareth yep, yep. on Main Street and That's schedule great. an appointment through there. That's great. You can also contact our Mount Bethel office as well. Um, and Gina basically takes uh, appointments scheduled every on the hour. What are some of the things that you help our veterans with? Mainly compensation benefits, so any veteran who is in during a period of war, some of them have conditions that go with the different um, combat services they were in. Um, sometimes people who are hurt during service. Um, we help with some pension programs, which where compensation is medical, the pension is, or yes, the pension is financially related. Okay. And I was, uh, one of the things I learned through, through this office and experience is that, um, to my surprise, a lot of veterans aren't aware of the benefits that they're entitled to. Do you find that experience as well? It happens quite often. A lot of people, I just had a gentleman here before, a World War II veteran who had no idea this program was in place. Great, and so if you do have any um, services, if you're not sure uh, the benefits you're entitled to, if you have a question, if you have an issue that you're working through um, that you can't get resolved, Gina is an incredible resource. And please, by all means, if you're a veteran, uh, contact our Mount Bethel or Nazareth office and we'll do everything we can to help. Gina, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Representative. Right. All right, we're here with uh, Marta Gabriel. She is the district manager with Senator Pat Toomey. Uh, his office in the Lehigh Valley and I'd just like to ask Marta a few questions. Now Marta, um, I'm a state representative serving in Harrisburg. Obviously Senator Toomey is in Washington DC. Mm -hmm. um, I know we get constituents who come in with questions and concerns that end up being federal. So what are some of the issues that uh, that come to you in your office? I've spoken with several constituents this morning about uh, Medicare is a very popular one because uh, Sometimes people apply for Medicare benefits and they have problems getting them or they have problems with reimbursement. So I've spoken with several people this morning about that. Another one is FEMA flood insurance. People are now required to buy flood insurance if they're in floodplains. And I've had several people ask me about that today. So those are some of the, the federal oriented questions that we have received today. Okay, great. And I, yes, I know that the, the, the new FEMA maps, flood maps just came out. And I've had several constituents in, and um, I know that is a very serious concern for them. And I know that they have worked on, to some degree, that issue on the federal level as well. But, uh, well, thank you for setting up a table here today, Marta. It's, uh, yes, it's an honor that you're here. And uh, please pass along our, our hello to Senator Toomey. Will do, absolutely. It's wonderful greeting the constituents here today. A lot of great people in your district, Joe. Thank you very much, Marta. All right, I'm here with uh, actually a very good friend of mine, uh, Pam Capaldi, and she is with the Forks Township Jazzercise, uh, one of the many great uh, services that the Forks Community Center provides are lots of exercise programs. Actually, Pam just got done teaching a class and hurried over here to our senior fair and uh, to set up her table. So I just want to ask Pam what she does and uh, some of the things that they do here. So thank you, Pam. How You're are welcome. You? I'm fine. How are you? Great. So what do you teach Very again? Good. Um, I teach Jazzercise here at the Community Center, okay. um, which services Forks Township. Um, How many a week? How many classes a week? We offer 11 classes a week, and they're all here in the gym. Okay. And do you teach all 11 classes? No, 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 no. There's okay. four of us who, who do it. Okay. Yeah, we all teach. Well, yeah. Okay. And so not only the Jazzercise, do they offer other aerobic programs or fitness programs or other things like that that you're aware of? Yes. 
Okay. <laughs> She's not going to go into detail. I put Pam on the spot here. Um, but the Forest Township Community Center does provide a lot of great services. Uh, it's a beautiful facility if you've never been here. Uh, by all means, please feel free to come over and check it out. And the people are really nice. So, Pam, thank you very much for your time. It's been great to see you. Okay. Thank Thanks, you. Joe. You're welcome. We are here with uh, Rose Ackerman with the Lehigh Valley Health Network and just want to ask Rose a few questions. Uh, Rose, first of all, uh, what is your title and what do you do with Lehigh Valley Health Network? I'm a home care hospice representative and I um, see a lot of physicians and a lot of the community to educate them on what our services are through Lehigh Valley Health Network. Okay, excellent. And today at my senior fair, our senior fair that we're having, um, you are with Lehigh Valley Health Network. And what are you providing here for the, for the residents? I'm providing blood pressure screenings, and it's very important to talk to folks about their blood pressure and what are the indications of whether a high blood pressure or a low blood pressure, how to like drink more fluids or see their physician, and keep track of their blood pressure so that if it's elevated, the doctor knows what to do and can make a knowledgeable decision. Okay, so this is a basic health screening for people. Absolutely. And just to our right off camera, uh, Lehigh Valley Health Network is also uh, providing free flu shots for our residents today. And uh, since I am horrified of needles, I think I'll skip that portion. Oh, but wow. that's our secret, all right? We won't tell yes, anybody. Okay. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time, Rose. Thank it was you great so that much you're here. Very nice to see you. Yes, thank, thank you. you for us be here. You're welcome. Thank you. We are here with Monica McCandless. She is the Director of um, Client Services with Meals on Wheels of the Lehigh Valley. Just want to ask uh, her a few questions. Now, um, thank you, first of all, for coming out today to our senior fair. Thank you for uh, having us. Yes, and what are you providing today? Today we are offering uh, one of our chef pack entrees. It is a vegetarian chicken stir fry with cashews served over a little bed of rice. We've been getting very good reviews on our rice and our, our chicken stir fry. So there's uh, 17 different entrees to choose from. That sounds awesome, actually. I'm sure there will be none left by the time this is I over. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but you provide this as a free service to the residents of the, and the constituents of the senior fair today, correct? Yes, that is correct. We are offering samples today to anyone that is visiting the senior fair. They can gladly come and have a sample of our entree that we're serving today. Okay, and about a year or two ago, I had a chance to come into the Meals on Wheels facility, take a tour, and uh, was incredibly impressed by um, not only the process, but by the number of people that you serve. How many people do you, do you help in Northampton County or Lehigh Valley wide? On, in Northampton County, on average, we serve 550 clients a day. Now, overall, Meals on Wheels, Meals on Wheels provides 2,000 meals daily to, throughout Northampton County, Lehigh County, Monroe County. We also provide the meals for the congregate centers in Lehigh County and a few adult daycares that we provide for. Wow, that's, uh, that's actually amazing. I, I could probably ask you questions for quite a while. Um, <laughs> the last question I would have, if somebody is in need to sign up for your services, how would they go about doing that? They can call our office. Uh, the number is 610-691-1030. They can call in, or we do have a website. They can visit, visit us at www.mealsonwheelspa.org and sign up through our website. Okay, that's awesome. Thanks so much for not only coming here today, but for the service you provide to, to many people who are in need. Well, that's all the time we have today. Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any further questions or need information, you can either contact my Mount Bethel office or my Nazareth office. And we also have a satellite office here at the Forest Community Center on the first and third Thursday of each month from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Thank you very much.